Hey, today I'm talking about the new Shudder original horror Christmas film, The Sacrifice Game. This stars Olivia Scott Welch, who I know and love from the Fear Street movies. Those were great, and this movie's also pretty good too. And the basic premise is surprisingly similar to Paul Giamatti's recent film, The Holdovers. The setup starts off very similar. It is the 1970s, and it is Christmas break at this boarding school. Unfortunately though, a couple students are stuck there as holdovers, and so their house has to be a teacher. Where this differs from Paul Giamatti's film is that there also happens to be some kind of cult-like crazy people going around murdering individuals in the hopes to maybe summon a demon. Ooh. And yeah, this film was pretty good. I had a lot of fun with it. It definitely felt like a Christmas film. The horror aspects were pretty good. I never felt like I was longing for any like gore or anything. There wasn't like a ton of violence in the film, but like what we got felt fitting for the type of story that they were telling. And it did deliver on some pretty gross kills and stuff. I was really impressed with the child actors that they got because first off, they got two girls who look like they're in high school because they're actual teenagers and they both did good. I definitely thought the story was very interesting. I really like the stuff with the demon and then the characterization of all of the bad guys was really interesting. I was surprised with how we explored those characters. I thought that was a good idea, both how and they did it, and then what the characters were all about. It was interesting and made it feel justified why they put this in the 1970s rather than just like a modern day thing or something. And I really liked the end. The end, it was a nice satisfying ending. What kind of didn't work for me was it felt a bit too long, in particular the third act. It took too long to get to the climax climax of the film felt a bit stretched thin there. They usually could have shaved down like a few minutes there to just to kind of speed it up and it would have made a big difference. But yeah, no, it was still a pretty dang good movie that I would totally recommend. It's a good fun Christmas horror film. So like if that's the vibe you're looking for, look no further. This movie's delightful. And now for my ranking, I put this at number 49 in the quite like section. And this is a total of 81 new movies so far this year.